And now, when I talk about my bottle leg, my bottle leg is going to start to put pressure. Then I switch for the center. You're probably going to lose the reason. Because if he doesn't do the reason, if he just pulls, I bring my leg inside, stay my body, and go to the back. Okay? I think you guys can hear me, huh? It's on the mic. Okay. So, on that variation, Leo don't want me on his back, so he's gonna use the wizard. Good. One, two. I bring him. Now look my leg. Can you feel like I put pressure with my bottle leg first and using my another leg on top? Then I switch. I'm not on the dog fight yet. I can literally sweep me here to that side. Or I always try the side for first when he put his weight on the other side. I extend my hip, bring my knee back, and go to the dog fight. Now, from the dog fight, two days of position. One, sweep me, sweep me here, now it's almost like a take it down. I'm gonna bring my knees standing. Tap his knees. Use my head. Force the sweep. Now look. Remember I say about. I talk about when I finish the sweep. How it's important to keep my weight. And my hip. Smashing his knees. Folding his knees together. Then I start to clear the hook. With the white window here. And go behind his leg. Where. That's going to be his dilemma. Or he's going to stay here. And I. On the side control, or he's gonna turn, and I'm gonna enter my knee, top hook, bring him to the other side, second hook, sit it out. Because if you relax your shoulder, they go down the hook again, and then you have to start everything again, you have to go to the knee. Okay, so that's one thing. The other thing is, not everybody is using bolt to head, like a scissor. To put pressure on this. Feels like it's on his knee, but it's about the hip. You control the hip, because when you find that, I can't open my hip anymore. You have to force the hip from inside. Like the show, like the outside room. But overall, almost everyone did amazing. You just have to make sure then the hook to start because if you do it here and relax, see you have a lot of space between your hips and my shoulder, he put on the hook again, okay? Yes. So that's one thing. One, two, now look. That's another thing, people are mistaken. You really need to use both legs like a scissor. See, he's already feel the pressure. Now look my heels. Go on that, on that space here, like a little triangle here. That's my goal. Then I switch, and I don't open my knee. Some people are switching and opening it. I close my knee. Again. <laughs> All of this control. When I open the knee shield, make sure I do the break point and open with my leg. My right foot. Create the space. One, two, start to put pressure. That's already a coyote hook. Switch. Now he's gonna wheeze it, because if he don't wheeze it, I start to go around his back. Yeah. What? True. I look my bottom leg. And also, when I extend the bottom leg, my top leg doesn't stay here on the head. No, I'm already using my leg to push, especially because sometimes they try to go to the three corners mount. That's when I really need to use this season. See, every time I go there and they start to go to the three corners I use the season, switch the hook. Yes. That's what I want to find. Fires find that position, then you start to go this way. Stand my knee, two, and from here again, before I tap his knee, I'm going to bring my left knee close to my right. So see how he's already kind of fall. And I tap 
can you speak? Or I tried for the first day, he puts a lot of weights and I died with it again. My own hook to pile his hook away from my leg. Okay? Let's go. One, two, three.